In this video, I want to go through a CFA level one exam style question on computing the monthly payment on a mortgage loan. This is going to be a relatively quick and easy question utilizing the time value of money uh, worksheet. Um, but this time, instead of having annual compounding, we're going to have obviously monthly compounding as payments on mortgage loans are typically made on a monthly basis. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, do keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question which I want us to have a go at. A client is planning to buy a $200,000 house. If the funds for the purchase are borrowed with a 6% 30-year fixed rate mortgage, the monthly mortgage payment is closest to. Now, I'm assuming the client receives 100% of the funding uh, for the house, which is not necessarily realistic. In, a, in an actual question, you may have some kind of equity, i.e. the client needing to contribute a certain portion of that amount and the bank financing the rest. However, in this case, we're looking for the full um, 200,000 or looking at the full 200,000. So um, the monthly mortgage payments which means we're going to have to scale the inputs to incorporate that as the period, the month. Uh, we're going to be utilizing the time value of money worksheet. So let's think about the inputs. The PV, the present value, is going to be 200,000. Now, it's up to you whether you want to make this positive or negative. Um, this is something we're receiving to the bank instead of paying to the bank. So I think I'm going to make this positive to signify or illustrate, emphasize that it is uh, something flowing in. Then the next bit, 6%, the interest rate. Um, well, I'm going to have to make that my I over Y input, but scale it to a month. So... Uh, I over Y is going to be 6 by 12, so effectively 0 0.5. Then, for the um, number of periods, N. Well, each month is going to be a period here, so I'm going to have uh, 30 years times 12, which is actually 360 periods. And um, I'm looking for the PMT, and I'm going to have zero of V, i.e. at the end of the life of the loan, at the end of the uh, loan's tenor, there will be no remaining balance. So it will be fully paid uh, paid off. So I'm going to get my calculator to compute uh, the PMT, the payments. And obviously, given the fact that I've made everything here times 12 or divided by 12 respectively, this is going to be the monthly payment. So over to the calculators. Because this is a TVM worksheet problem, I'm going to make sure to clear the worksheet first. So second followed by FV, good. And now let's have the inputs. 200,000, uh, that's the value of the loan. So let's make this the PV. Now six by 12, that was 0 0.5. That's our I over Y. For N, we've got 360. Um, I don't need to make FV, FV uh, zero because by default it is, assuming we have cleared the calculator. If you're not sure, it doesn't hurt to just press zero FV in the exam. Why not have that um, assurance? And now let's compute PMT. As you can see, the answer which comes out is minus 1,199. Obviously, that's negative because uh, it signifies an outflow of money. But generally speaking, um, negative or not, it does correspond with answer C.